Good morning. <clears throat> this is Cheryl at Sea Spirit Tarot, and I'm here with my Thoth Daily Read lesson that I think I'm going to let extend to another card spread that kind of came out all on its own. I woke up this morning. My hairdresser sent home all these awesome colors that I can play in my hair, but I'm being really pushed to do videos today. So, what you see is what you get. I want to start with that I am diffusing Myrtle, Myrtle oil. It's 440 hertz, because we are electromagnetic creatures. It is intuition and clairvoyance, brain, pituitary, brow. For, and I just want to mention... Um, essential oils form harmonious, coherent relationships to amplify our natural electromagnetic frequencies, vibrations. And there's like three different levels of oils. You know, there's the lower vibrations that work on your spiritual organs and such. The mid-level that work on your emotion. And the higher level that work on your spiritual. This is a 440 so this is definitely going into my, working on my spiritual. And um, the key words on this one, I had this awesome chart. I might try to show a smaller one that I had made, but even the smaller one is this big. So intuition and clairvoyance, myrtle oil. Okay, and of course, and this is like how the witches were using those oils, you know, but the more pure oil you have, the better it works, I believe. So yesterday, we left off. I had a male energy that I had used wisely over Christmas. Instead of being the bully and defensiveness, the victim, blah, 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 I used this male energy of creation with my water of indolence and, and, and hung in there. And the card that I got back was, the last card yesterday we left off, eight of advancement of wands, an electric, of which Frida Harris made electric. She says something, if these do, does, don't tickle you or your electromagnetic charge. And again, I didn't pull the... Um, the geometry it was for this. It's got the rainbow. But this is actually Mercury and Sag, which is pretty well tempered. So with some stableness today, I move on to another mail card, the Emperor. I think this card, this deck has, has just been so incredible for me. And just showing, like, my mind is starting to wake up to things that I know and have learned. But I was so trapped, or trapped myself in that nursing. And coming out of this is just like a most glorious bloom. So before we had here, we had Saturn. Saturn ruling with Mars exalted. Saturn holding you back uh, I guess I played, this is the devil, but I guess I played, uh, I played the Capricorn card with the dirt people on Christmas, and I did better. Then we're going to move on to the new electric. I get the Emperor, Major Arcana, number four. And here we got, ruled by Mars, with the sun exalted. So here, here is some energy of movement for me to get something done. Something done of my soul seed source. And this is a pretty grounding, uh, grounding chakra card. Still got the gold of the higher level in it, though, but we're sitting in the orange. Aries, son of the morning, chief among the mighty. Energy in its most mature form. The idea of authority. And I'm going to take this as um, authority over my own self, not over others. In this card, it shows how they have taken the ram, 
He sits on a chair of ram. See the ram. And the ram scepter. But made it lie down. See, in green pastures where all you have is the docile, cowardly, succulent, is that the word that they use? Beast. Took out all the fire. Well, we're going to bring that fire back. Creative wisdom. The word exerted. An organized man. And my favorite thing about the tarot is though a lot of people throw a lot of verbiage. I, I know I talk a lot too, but I'm not going to go on for 15 minutes about every card because here it is. You get it. And, and Kelly's key words. And that's what needs to go in. So we start the day with high energy of Mars and the sun to fulfill what I'm here to fulfill. My next card is the Lord of Abundance, which is Mercury in Cancer, which is one of the most receptive signs there is. And this is Abundance. Card of Demeter and Persephone and the fulfillment of the will of love in abounding joy, the spiritual basis of fertility. And my whole life, it's been... For my goal, self-realization. I think her name is Carlene Love. And if you look up Translucent Ray, she's doing a series. I've got a hair sticking somewhere. Of a series of different rays. Not so much your chakras, but the rays and energy that she's channeled. And today she did the Translucent Ray or yesterday. And I felt like that was a one of the most personal growth growing readings I've ever had and she and this is general that she does but you might check her out she's pretty cool Carlene Love so anyway here I have the abundance and I feel so abundance I've had I've made so many strides once I got rid of the nursing right <laughs> which was my own my own cell block I'm sure and karmic so my second card is overflowing abundance and I feel that with such gratefulness. And my last card here is the Ace of Cups, who with the Princess of Cups is a th throne for the Ace of Cups, rules Libra, Scorpio, and Sag. Kind of the energy we're coming out of, the fall energy, right? We just went into Capricorn. The root of the power of the water. Faith, hope, and charity. Where we, we, what we need to keep moving, right? I added the faith, hope, and charity, not Crowley. Represents element of water in its most secret and original form. Feminine complement of the Ace of Wands. Derived from the Yoni and the Moon. So, I had kind of missed um, some of the VRs I was doing, and I saw this one this morning about uh, I had missed on, on our healing decks. And this is a very healing deck for me. I mean, because look at the colors here coming out of the darkness. It the, looks like a multi-petaled. So there's a hands holding it. I have yet to see a hand. I don't know her representation of hands. But I found this just a blessing. Of the ace and the three of abundance leading me into the ace and now I'm going to slide this into a reading that as I was putting away my cards from yesterday kind of fell out and this card came out yesterday this card wanted to talk yesterday all day so uh, here's a two it's a receptive number this is in the light of the moon. This is still in the new moon coming here, right? And feminine, receptive. And it's balancing all these elements within the disc and balancing the disc. And, and what do I have to help me do this but these three cards to come into equal balance? And doing the dance of the rhythms 
and the waves of our world and our frequencies. And the second card that came up with that, these these two cards were left on the table. This one was just coming out all the time and even came out as I'm putting them away. It's the two of wands. And look, he looks like he's... Pl is he digging garlic? Is he planting garlic? Is that garlic? You are protected. You are safe from the demons. And he has this two of wands and one eye open and making... And look at the green, the green and the gold coming, coming into myself, my new creations, a validation that using the fire element in my new creation of where I've been dancing around or where I choose to dance in the balance. And the next one was the page. And notice the page is taking both these wands the page is probably a bit more enlightened here. The eye is open here, but here he has a different color. Still in, now this one isn't going in into the, the more dark of the moon. This is a, so, but, but he's taking both. I like this. He's taking both of his wands with him as he goes out to spread the word. And I have been, I am doing this because I am pushed so hard by my higher self to work on these chakras. And also because I have refused, no matter how many times encouraged to be a teacher of the mystic and the esoteric, instead I stayed locked into that nursing where I used it, but I couldn't really use it. I could use my Reiki on people in kind of a, almost an invisible way, you know, stuff like that. But but this is just so much more validation. And I left, I'm going to leave her out for a while, White Shell Woman. And I had this card, not this card, but a print on my wall, let's say at least 18 years. I don't know. I think I, I might even still have it packed away in a footlocker somewhere. And though this is a Navajo card, and, and this was what I aspired to be long before I ever worked at Four Corners with the Navajo and the Hopis. So, the beauty, to walk in the beauty, I am, I'm going to keep that out. And the Acturian star code is passion. Passion. Faith. Belief. Trust, passion, and know it's okay. Knowing well, it's okay to defy the emperor. I'm not. I'm not that sheep no more. Okay, though I haven't been a sheep, but I put myself not in their pen, but in my own pen, and used a little bit of their pen. The abundance is coming, and it's coming for manifesting anew. Passion. Passion. To become at least one archetype that I have, have always held in esteem. So that's my daily thought lesson. I want to do, I think I want to do a deck interview and I'm going to make some laundry soap. I might put that up here. I don't know. How long have I been on here? Only 14 minutes. So, blessings, blessings. May the goddess bless. May we all ride these portals through this time. And I'm so grateful to all the energy that's going on. It's just raising everybody. And I finally jumped off the ledge. Thank you. Have an absolutely beautiful day.